Michelle Obama is looking different than I remember her mm. looking. Um, okay. And I don't know why she made this video, but I guess she wants people to feel sorry for her not being able to go out in public like a regular person. I guess that's the point of this video. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, she's she's showing us what it looks like the ordeal that she has to go through just to visit a bookstore. Oh. But keep in mind, she's got a camera crew with her and that might be why she has to go through that ordeal. An entourage. So, she's bringing an yeah. entourage. Yeah. And she just doesn't look good. <laughs> I was going to say the same, but mm -hmm. I'll go with what you said. Yeah. Here's Michelle. What it takes to get to a bookstore. Walking, it's a, it's a beautiful uh, back entryway. This is how we roll. We're, we back, we back seen it. I'm gonna hand this over to Crystal. It's the real behind the scenes action right here. She is a stunner, isn't she? She's so we got stunning. A few books signed. I hope somebody comes, finds them. Send me a video, let me know how you're doing. It's like, what's the best way to kind of tackle a bookstore? When you don't know what you want, it, it can be intimidating. Well, I think that people should, you can always ask a bookstore. Ask the love, booksellers. <laughs> they love talking about books. But if you don't know Questlove, he's the sweetest human being. This seems like a good one to get back for Cooper. Thank you. Cute. So shout out to Questlove. You know, I love you. All right. Mission accomplished. It's so hard going to bookstores. It's so hard. It's really overwhelming. And uh, be good. Be kind so overwhelming mock she's it's a so stunner hard to be so famous oh my god, god. i've been on like a gajillion <laughs> vogue covers because i am gorgeous look how gorgeous i am you guys we should totally like bronze her arms those arms right yeah those arms Ugh, they Amazing. are bronzable they should be in a <laughs> museum somewhere she's just so beautiful but melania gross <laughs> right she doesn't Never. deserve to be on any covers anywhere don't put her on a cover i mean but michelle <laughs> Just <laughs> stunner, you guys. Yeah. Um, speaking of stunners, Magic Johnson has a son who, like Magic Johnson, as you would expect because of genetics, is a very large fellow, right? Like it's mm -hmm. uh isn't he, he looks like isn't his he dad? Transgender? He's a transgender or something, isn't he? This is what he looks like. Oh we <gasps> wow. Very demure, very nice. Uh, very demure. <laughs> no. I mean, he it's towers not. over it's, everybody. I feel like that's the antithesis of demure. I don't <laughs> think that's what it means. So mindful. <laughs> so, so demure. demure. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm -mm, no. Yikes. Mm -hmm. um, we've played a lot of clips, I feel like, over the last several months, really, about um, free speech, the First Amendment, the dangers of Democrats to it. Uh, most recently, I can remember that we played that John Kerry clip where he was just outright saying, yeah, I mean, it's a it's a problem. The First Amendment gets in the way, essentially, right. of our power. Yeah. And of course, as you might expect, Bill Gates is also complaining about free speech speech but if you're inciting violence if you're causing people not to take mm. vaccines right you know uh, where are those boundaries that even the u.s uh should you know have rules and then if you have rules you know what is it is there some ai that encodes those rules because mm. you have billions of activity and you know if you catch it a day later the harm is is done God, you guys need to take your vaccines. That's what he says. You know, he is an arbiter of, of science and health with his man boobs. God. That guy. Mm -mm. Oh, no. my God. The, he, the threat to our rights, like, legitimately is yeah. at risk. Oh, if yeah. Democrats win. Yeah, this is the thing. Like, it's censorship is one. It should be people's 
one of their top three concerns. I know the mm-hmm. everything's on fire right now, right? It's like hard to figure out what we got to triage all the stuff. There's so much stuff at risk, mm-hmm. the economy, like safety, all this stuff is at risk, but man, censorship is huge it's and huge. they, and huge, they want to censor us. They totally do. We have some big, big news to share with you. And that is that we have a new partnership with the daily wire. Yay. And so daily wire, I don't know if you guys know this, you probably consume daily wire content without even maybe realizing that you're consuming it. But daily wire, in addition to having like shows like Andrew Clavin and Michael Knowles and Ben Shapiro, of course, they also carry the entire Jordan Peterson video library. And then daily wire plus, um, is gives you extra and exclusive content. I remember that you and I signed up for it like probably when it first was a thing. Yeah, several years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they had come out with that movie um, about school shootings. Yes. What was that? It was was like Run, Hide, or Hide, Run, Run, Yeah, I can't can't remember the name of it, but it was so good. So good. Yeah. And it's so great how they are trying to create exclusive content for, that is conservative, that Mm -hmm. is not, you know, psycho Hollywood BS. Right. And their, their content on their plus side is it's really 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 good you guys and so because this is a new partnership super exciting just this week so in other words today and tomorrow yeah they are offering 47 percent off this is an intro week special discount on their plus services so you can get in on the action before this gets <clears throat> the special goes away by visiting get dw plus the word p-l-u-s get dw plus.com slash chicks and then when you sign up for dw plus you will also get access to bent key which is sort of their answer to disney it's Mm -hmm. like the dw plus kids entertainment streaming platform plus you get one of their um really great free leftist tears tumblers you know those tumblers that say leftist tears on it Mm -hmm. You get one of those for free. So this is a really, really, really good deal right now. It's not going to last beyond this week. So again, visit getdwplus.com slash. Also a good Christmas present, an early one. Just saying. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yes. All right, let's get back into the news. So there was some pretty interesting news yesterday about Mr. Doug Emhoff. And the headline read, (laughs) God, this guy. (laughs) Kamala Harris's husband, Doug Emhoff, quote, forcefully slapped ex-girlfriend for flirting with another man and was accused of causing nanny mistress's miscarriage during their affair. Yeah, this is how they reshape mas- masculinity, you guys. This is it right here. He like he assaults his ex girlfriend. Oh my god! He cheats on his his ex wife with he, the nanny. He knocks up the nanny, and then she she lost the baby, right? I think she lost mm. the baby. Yeah, but I mean, he knocks up his nanny, and then they try to paint him as this like super nice. I'm not buying what they're selling. I mean, he is a beta male, but this is how they try. This is their idea of reshaping masculinity. Thank you, but no. I think he sounds pretty toxic, if you ask me. Yeah, that exactly. sounds like about as toxic uh-huh. of masculinity I'll, as I'll you take, can have. I'll take our version of toxic masculinity over this jackal any day. Yeah. Yep. And the accusations are pretty detailed. So he's um, this was according to like three different friends, three different friends of the woman that he hit. Allegedly, Um, they spoke with the Daily Mail saying that Doug got jealous um, that his girlfriend was talking with another man. And they were apparently in the valet line at the Cannes Film Festival. Um, So, again, three different friends have come out to say that this happened. And those three friends also claim that he admitted to that same ex-girlfriend that he impregnated the nanny and caused her to have a miscarriage. So that's gross. I think it was Debbie. She was asking like, who would sleep with that sicko? He's gross. That's a great question. Like it's, I do question a lot of these women who, who have relations of a sexual nature with these guys who are so beta. It's like, what? Ew. 
Well, and you know, the New York Post, I think, is like the only other outlet that picked up the story. And Chris Cuomo, again, got to hand it to him. He commented about how different the news coverage would be Uh if this were not Doug Emhoff and instead were Trump. Mm -hmm. If the name were Trump instead of Emhoff, it would be all over the news. Right. Daily Mail, echoed by the New York Post, has a story. Doug Emhoff, Kamala Harris's husband, accused of striking a woman he was on a date with at the Cannes Film <clears throat> Festival back in 2012. They, they had been drinking, and he didn't like how she talked to the valet. He smacked her, she smacked him back. Uh, you do not get, very often, people coming forward named. And the reason is they're worried about retaliation. These are very powerful people we're talking about. Three friends all saying they were told the same thing. Two of them contemporaneously. This woman, Jane, we're calling her, she called one of the friends immediately after the incident. That's what this um, this friend told me. Uh, ordinarily, I don't care about these stories. You could say, well, there may have been an assault. Maybe. Well, she didn't go to the police. He's not really running. But again, if it were Trump or anyone related to him, it would be on every TV show that is on right now. It's yep. true. He's absolutely right. I will commend that lady. I mean, I know that she slept with him and that's really gross, but I will commend her for hitting him back. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you go. That. That's yeah. right.